Hey guys, before we get into this video before the rulings channel, uh, I want to be able to shout out that there was it's going to be another PS5 tournament at Collectibles Exchange. Uh, this tournament had a very good turnout the last time we had it in SoCal, and the same place in the same venue is going to be hosting another PS5 tournament. So uh, be sure to register this uh, online uh, via Facebook or IG, and uh, then you'll be able to get in uh, into this event. Uh, Tengu is actually going to be growing a lot more in California just because uh, people want to play other formats. Additionally, uh, it's really good if you can uh, print out a deck list uh, before round one so that you can just uh, submit it uh, without actually having to write things down. So anyways, uh, I'll see you guys on the ruling segment of this video. So one of the main difference in Tengu Plant format uh, in as opposed to Edison format is that Quick Draw Synchron is often going to be used as a sort of a card that activates in hand. Uh, so this way uh, it can't be pretty much negated by Thunder King Ryo. Uh, so let's say, let's take this uh, for example here where you have a Quick Draw Synchron right here. In Edison format, uh, what you do is you activate the effect of Quick Draw Synchron in hand, so it becomes Chain Link 1, and you don't discard a card out of your hand as a cost in Edison format. In Tango, Pl uh, in Tango Plant format, uh, Quick Draw Synchron has now been ruled as a card that activates uh, inherently. So in this format, what you'll do is just special summon this uh, by discarding a monster from your hand, and that will pretty much trigger uh, cards like uh, Solemn Judgment uh, or Solemn Warning. Uh, Solemn Warning can negate Quick Draw anyways, but you have to pay the cost essentially uh, when you're special summoning this uh, quick draw synchron. So, so here we have in a situation here where we have Mind Crush uh, that's set on the field. Uh, you activate the effect of quick draw synchron to special summon itself from the hand and by discarding a Prisma. So, uh, in Edison format, you would be able to use, uh, you would be able to activate the Mind Crush. Uh, in order to stop the quick draw sync run from your hand. However, in Tengu Plant format, that is not the case anymore since uh, you'll be able to just special summon the quick draw sync run without activating any chain. And this means cards like Black Horn of Heaven can actually destroy, uh, negate and destroy the quick draw sync run uh, because it's inherently being special summoned, much like Dark Arm, uh, Archlord Christia, or uh, Chaos Sorcerer, uh, in the same timing that it does. Here's another difference uh, between Edison and Tengu. So Prisma doesn't send a monster from the deck to the graveyard as a cost. In fact, if you were to activate Prisma as a priority, uh, as an ignition effect, and your opponent responds with cards like Bottomless Trap Hole, you would not be able to send a monster from your deck to the graveyard in Edison format. However, they rectified this ruling uh, right after Edison format, uh, where if you activate Prisma's ability uh, as channeling one, uh, as an ignition effect, since you're calling priority on the effect, you are able to send a monster, a fusion material monster from your deck to the graveyard, and then your, your opponent can respond uh, to Prisma's effect. And so in this case, uh, if, you activate, if they activate Bottomless Trap Hole, Prisma will get banished, but at least you'll be able to send a water monster from the deck to the graveyard. So here's another ruling here uh, that's much more different uh, in Edison, is the rivalry of Warlords versus the Treeborn Frog. So here we have a situation where Treeborn Frog is being special summoned here. Uh, and then player uh, A has a rivalry of Warlords uh, flipped face up. So the question is, uh, are you able to tribute summon a Aqua type monster uh, for something like Kai's? Uh, in Edison format, uh, you would be able to do this effect to uh, tribute off the Treeborn Frog to uh, be for a different type. However, in Tengu Plot format, because you're attempting to, to normal summon a monster of a different type, uh, you are unable to actually tribute the Treeborn Frog for Kai's here. So. Uh, in this case, uh, you will not be able to tribute a uh, card uh, for a different type. So uh, so in this case, uh, Treeborn Frog can be tributed for Kaius, but you could tribute the Treeborn Frog for something like a Mobius uh, face-up. Uh, granted, the Rivalry Warlord only affects cards that are face-up, so you could technically just tribute uh, summon for Kaius uh, by tributing the uh, Treeborn Frog and setting uh, the Kaius as opposed to normal summoning it. However, I wouldn't uh, suggest doing that in any type of way. I've never seen anybody actually tribute summon for a Kaius set just for a thousand defense. So yeah, that's one uh, difference of uh, Edison format versus uh, Tinker Plant format. So in Edison format, uh, when two monsters with zero attack uh, battle each other, they actually can destroy each other in battle. However, after Edison format, after the Consecrated Light now attacks into another Consecrated Light, uh, that means that they can't destroy each other because they don't have any attack power. So after Edison format, uh, if your monster has zero attack, uh, it can't kill anything with zero attack in uh, in battle uh, just because they don't have any attack points. All right, this is going to be a ruling segment in Tango Plant format where Dark Soul is being destroyed by uh, a battle. And so in this scenario here, we have a battle where between Reborn Tengu and X Saber Dark Soul. Dark Soul goes to the graveyard. Uh, now uh, player B is now going to activate uh, DD Crow uh, to banish the Dark Soul from the graveyard. So what would happen in uh, Tengu Plant format when Dark Soul gets banished from the graveyard after uh, it was destroyed by battle by Reborn Tengu? In this case, uh, since the ruling of Dark Soul has been one of the most confusing 
uh, in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Uh, when Dark Soul gets banished from the graveyard, after it's sent to the graveyard as a result of battle or by uh, by a card effect or by being destroyed, however it is that it's sent to the graveyard, um, if the player activates Deity Crow to banish the Dark Soul here, uh, the uh, player who has the Dark Soul is still able to activate the Dark Soul in the banished area, uh, in the banished zone, uh, to be able to search. This is largely because the uh, the wording of Dark Soul in back, back in the day when it was first printed in the Shining Darkness, if this card you control is sent to the graveyard, comma, during the end phase, comma, you can add one X Saber monster from your deck to your hand. So because this is all one sentence, there's no sort of like a semicolon to suggest there's a cost. The condition has already been met where Dark Soul has been sent to the graveyard. And even if uh, the Dark Soul is uh, banished from the graveyard, it still will activate its effect uh, in the end phase uh, to be able to uh, search from uh, to search an X Saber monster from the from your deck to your hand. So uh, very weird rolling, but this is uh, pretty much much con uh, consistent with what uh, Tengu plant format was back in the day. Uh, so this was a able to search even if it's banished from the graveyard. Here we have yet another uh, Dark Soul ruling here. So here we have a set Dark Soul that has been left alone uh, that hasn't attacked yet. And the Reborn Tengu player didn't attack uh, the Dark Soul that's set. So on your next turn, uh, player A is flipping over the Dark Soul here, uh, normal summoning the Full Helm Knight, and then special summoning the Full Troll. Uh, from there, the player is going to be able to Synchro Summon to a level 6. So uh, we're going to add a counter here. So the x Saber Dark Soul has been sent to the graveyard at least once uh, to the graveyard. So what happens here if x Saber Full Troll were to uh, Special Summon the uh, the Full Helm Knight from the graveyard. So here they're able to Synchro Summon the Hyunlei and the Full Helm Knight uh, to be able to make a Gotham's. And then from here, you're gonna they're going to activate Monster Reborn to revive the Dark Soul and then use the effect of Gotham's to send over the Dark Soul again. So... Uh, what happens during the end phase? Well, during the end phase, since Dark Soul, the same Dark Soul has been sent to the graveyard twice, uh, that means Dark Soul is going to be able to activate its effect uh, twice and search two X Saber monsters from your hand, so from your deck to your hand. So this is a very uh, strange ruling, but it makes sense. It's congruent with the rulings uh, where DD Crow is able to banish the Dark Soul and then Dark Soul is still being able to activate. Uh, because the condition has been met twice by Dark Soul, the same Dark Soul can search multiple times in the end phase uh, with the in Tango Plant format. Okay, so here's another scenario where we have a Dark Soul that's face down uh, in defense position. Player A is going to flip over the Dark Soul here and then normal summon the Full Helm Knight. And then the player A wants to do a Synchro Summon. So what they're going to do is send both the Dark Soul and the Full Helm Knight to the graveyard. And then they're going to make a Heon Lay here uh, from the uh, extra deck. So player B is going to respond with the Thunder King Ryo to negate the Heon Lay. Now, what happens during the end phase? Will player B or will player A be able to activate the Dark Soul here uh, to be able to search even though Thunder King Ryo is now out the field? Uh, the, the, the answer to that is yes. Uh, because Thunder King Ryo is technically now off the field, even though the trigger was met during the main phase to be able to Sanker Summon the Hyunlei, and then the Dark Soul was technically sent to the graveyard first before the Thunder King Ryo uh, was able to, and the Thunder King Ryo was able to see the Dark Soul go to the graveyard, uh, because of the rulings in uh, Tango Plan format, uh, because Dark Soul was sent to the graveyard and Thunder King Ryo is no longer face up on the field during the end phase is when it's activating and it tries to activate and then you can actually search during the end phase uh, since the Thunder King Ryo is now off the field. So that was a mouthful, but basically when you are able to deal with the Thunder King Ryo uh, prior to the end phase, um, the idea is that uh, once the Thunder King Ryo is uh, no longer face up on the field anymore, the Dark Soul is able to activate its effect in the end phase and then search. Even though uh, the Thunder King Ryo did see the card go to the graveyard, it doesn't matter because Thunder King Ryo is no longer face up on the field. So some of you guys may be wondering, uh, is Colossal Fighter Armory Arm combo uh, legal anymore in uh, Tango Plant format versus Edison format? So in, in Edison format, when you equipped an Armory Arm to a Colossal Fighter or when you, in Edison format, when you equipped an Armory Arm to Kai's, the Shadow Monarch, uh, to, impose, uh, to boost his attack up to 3,400 attack, and then Colossal Fighter is able to attack the Kai's. Uh, in this scenario, uh, in Tango Plant format, it, it's no longer the case. Uh, the Colossal Fighter now needs two Colossal Fighters in order to, uh, to do this effect because Colossal Fighter can revive the other Colossal Fighter. Uh, so in Tango Plant format, it is possible. It's just that you need two Colossal Fighters in order for you to do the Armory Arm uh, Colossal Fighter OTK. In this format, you require two Colossal Fighters in order for this to work because Armory Arm checks the uh, the monster that was destroyed in the graveyard as Chainlink 1 because it is a mandatory effect. 
So uh, because it's a mandatory effect, it's going to be Chainlink 1, and Claws Fighter being an optional effect is Chainlink 2. And since uh, Claws Fighter is reviving itself from the graveyard, it can no longer check if it's uh, the, the destroyed monster in the graveyard, so it'll reflect zero uh, points of damage to your opponent. So uh, that has now have been rectified in Tengu Plant format, and uh, this will be the way that it, that it is for this particular format.